it's morning, it's cold. Uh, I'm being lazy and recording the intro on my phone because I don't want to spend time unpacking cameras. I want to spend time prepping the car. But uh, GRD series starts today. Yaris's first day on track. This was supposed to be January of last year. But, you know, 2020 happened. So now it's finally getting the treatment it deserves. It's finally getting to go out on track since it's been manual swapped. We'll see if it's, uh, you know, a little bit or total. So the TRD series is a time attack event made only for Toyotas. We're all on track at the same time, but we're all out there just to set our best lap time. So it's really in your best interest not to fight everybody else on track, but look for the cleanest part of the track to do your lap. My car's balance was still a little weird, but for the first session, I decided to send it and see where we were at. The first session was a scruffy one, and it wasn't just the bad balance. I couldn't get in a clean lap no matter where I tried. There were so many other faster cars on track with me in the TRD series. And on top of all of that, I got black flagged meant that I had to come in and talk to the stewards about what went wrong. So the first session didn't go great. The car is still way too tail happy. And I don't want to be the guy that ruins it for everybody by having to get towed off of track. So in an effort to stabilize the rear, I disconnected the sway bar again. So second session is about to begin. Uh, I went ahead, put proper tire pressures on here, and then uh, went ahead and disconnected the rear sway bar. Hopefully that's an overcorrection and then we can kind of like eek back into uh, a pointier car by the end of the day. But I'd rather have it be safe and a little slow and do that while I'm learning the track layout. Because uh, I still haven't technically actually driven this track clockwise or counterclockwise ever. I've only ever done it clockwise. Only ever done it in a rear wheel drive car that does drive differently. Uh, so this is still a learning experience. It should probably be safer during a learning experience, or at least a little more planted, even if it is going to be a little slower. Even though it's not the fastest, there are a few things the Yaris is really good at. But you know, breaking point only matters so much if you only have 100 horsepower at the end of that turn. So the third round of the TRD series has finished. Uh, I got down to a 39.9. 9 
um, which is still pretty slow in the grand scheme of the TRD series. There are Supras running one minute 20s. So I think there is a 39.0, maybe even a 38.9 in the car. Oh, okay, I know there's a 38.9 in the car. It's just a question of can I get it there? It could probably get a decent amount of lap time with just better springs and an alignment. The teen coilovers have been fine for autocross. Uh, you know, the imbalance is not uh, stellar with the springs. They're 4K in the front, 3K in the rear. Uh, I definitely, after going on this track, which is so bumpy, I definitely, definitely want stiffer springs in general, and then even stiffer at the front to counter that snap oversteer, that lift off oversteer. Then I could put the sway bar back on, then the whole thing would be more planted, then there might be more lap time. The only other issue I'm feeling right now is just the amount of time it takes to shift because it is a uh, cable link shifter. It does take a little bit of uh, time to make sure that you're in the right gear. It's not like the direct link shift of the FRS. So there are plenty of times where I want to be in second gear and I'm not sure that I can get to second gear quick enough so I'm holding up and I end up taking a lot longer in third gear you know take three four more corners in third gear because it can do it but it'd be better in second gear so I have to figure out how to get the car straight for long enough that I can shift or shift quicker so you know so with only one session left to go, I had found my target time and I had found my rival in the TRD series, a wide-bodied XB with 255 tires and NK wheels. I raised the front suspension a little bit to combat the bumps of the track and we set out for our final run. The XB had more power than me on the straights, but I could catch him in the corners. It started to get a little braver on shifting down a gear, so now I can really accelerate out of the corners. I was getting really close, so close I even broke a GoPro. So the Yaris might not be a high horsepower track monster, but it's certainly starting to punch above its weight. While it might be one of the slowest in the TRD series, it's by no means the slowest on a given track day, and the improvement is what matters. The thing I love about this car is that it's teaching me how to identify problems and fix shortcomings, but we have a long way to go in this 2021 TRD series.